And you're now live. We're now live. <laughs> we're backstage in Salt Lake City before the next show on this tour that we're doing. Um, and as you know, we're taking the top two things that you suggested and tasting both of those. What do we have here, Link? We have got some mole. Let me open this. This is from... Where's this from? This is from uh, Red Iguana. Which Red is, Iguana. A lot of people suggested Red Iguana and said that the mole was the thing to get there. Um, and I, I'm a huge fan of mole, so I'm particularly excited, potentially a little biased about this, just off the get go. You know, and over here, we've got a burger from Lucky, Lucky 13. 13. It's called the Nut Butter Burger. Apparently, it's a cheeseburger that has. Peanut butter. Have you washed your hands? On it. Yeah, I just, I just legitimately just washed my hands. I'm, I'm always washing my hands, man. You know what? Put, let's put the burger. I just washed my hands. Let's put the burger here and take a look at it. Slice that thing in half. And that's, it, oh, that's fry sauce there. So. Some fry sauce. You want to chop that other burger? And as always, Britain is here as a potential tiebreaker. Well, Hopefully we don't need you. And if, if we don't need you to break a tire, that means you don't need to taste it. <laughs> Get a look at that, Jenna. <laughs> I'm going to taste it. So it just, looks like, it just kind of looks like a normal uh, cheeseburger, but there again, there's peanut butter mixed in with the cheese. All right. Uh, we got some tortillas that we can, so those are the flour. We got corn. You know what, Brittany, you cut, did you wash your hands? I have washed my hands. I did. Yeah. I don't I, trust either I'm one of you guys <laughs> to wash your hands. I'm not. I'm not. That's what I was man. doing right before I came in here. I was washing my hands. Are you? So you're, you're going ahead and eating fries. Fries are good. Well, these are garlic fries, which I'm particularly biased towards. Now those sauce. Oh my god. All right. Mm -hmm. I think the way to do mole is to put it into the tortilla, and I'm actually going to go with corn because it just feels more traditional. Right. I'm going to go with the flour. Uh, is that just a big oh, man. hunk oh, of chicken? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that chicken, man. So mole is like, there's chocolate mole in the sauce. Mole is a chocolate-based sauce. And they have like three different, this is the, um, the dark mole. The mole negro. And um, it is the most traditional of the options that they had on the menu. So that's what we went with. But it's got like raisins and bananas. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use the tortilla as a plate, and then I'm just gonna taste it. That's what I was thinking. You know, I don't wanna mess with the tortilla when I can just taste the mole. Hmm. I bet that's really good if you like mole. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> hmm. uh, mole is um, mm. very smoky. Um, it's it's kind of hard to taste the chocolate. Yeah, I think. But it, it's cool to know that it's there. I, is it you don't like the idea, or you really don't like it? Um, I'm gonna get some more of that. It's better if, in a tortilla, just so you know. You took. I, I'm gonna put some beans and rice in here. That's my fork, man. Don't oh, you have your own fork? This is the dipping fork, and I didn't want to double dip. Well, I, that was a fork that I was using to eat with. Here you go. So I'm gonna put some beans and rice in this. Yeah, go to the beans. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now. If the, the, I think I believe, and you just it doesn't necessarily have to be a reason to do it, but I think the locals are gonna be very upset with you guys if you bash red iguana. I'm not. A, I'm not bashing. I. Um, it's all love. It's very yeah, tasty. Man. Positive environment. What did you just say? It's a positive environment. I thought you said positive and vibing. No. <laughs> That's a good moment. I do feel like this is you telling us that you're, we're going to disappoint you if we bash red and white. I don't know yeah. if the locals play a part yeah, in that. I, that is a good point, Britt. <laughs> That's exactly right. Um, now, there's a little plantain action happening here. We should check that out. I've definitely got to get some, try some of the beans, though. I can't not. What happened to. What? Here we go. Beans are good. I brought some beano. I got to. I got to. <laughs> We do have to share a bus later on. We're all going to be sleeping on the same bus. <laughs> Relatively close proximity to each other. Of course, 
Me and Link sleep on the bottom. How they arise? How they arise? So, <laughs> yeah. I think we're safe. You guys are in trouble. Uh, that's very solid. Oh no. You guys want to move on to the burger? I don't like bananas. Oh. I did this anyway. It's a plantain, not a banana. I understand that, but something in y'all's jeans, man. I don't like bananas either. Yeah. I don't like tomatoes. You like tomatoes? I'm taking that tomato off now. Look at you. See, look at that. You're outnumbered, brother. And I'm surrounded by. Let's just get that off. Tomato hating Buchanan blood. Before we even start. Palate deficiencies. Okay, here we go. Now, hold on. If I'm. I don't. Oh, I smell a little bit of peanut butter. I smell a lot of bacon. That is really good. You having trouble? Yeah. I've I'll had like peanut that. butter on a <laughs> burger before. <clears throat> I really love peanut butter. I really love burgers. I have to be honest, I still don't really understand. I've had it before too. Why this, they would be together. This is better than the other time that I had it. Cause I want to love peanut butter on everything, but I don't know. Brent, what do you think? I mean, this is something else. I have not had peanut butter on a burger before, so this is a little um, this is new for me, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna eat all of this because it is great. And the fries are good. They got a lot of crazy burgers at this Lucky 13. We were looking at the menu. They've got a burger that is one foot tall, 12 inches tall, stacked up. That's excessive. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, you never know what you're going to be suggested in a, in a certain area of the country. Like, I didn't know what we were going to get in Utah. I certainly wasn't thinking we were coming to Utah to eat mole. It kind of makes sense, right. though. You kind of got, like, the Southwest well, thing. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, maybe it should have been. Oh. I certainly wasn't thinking. Um, okay, I feel like I've, I've tasted enough to make my determination. But again, Look at I'm going to wait. Okay. And we're going to put our hands <laughs> over. Yeah. Yeah, gonna, yeah. Now, look at the peanut butter on this. It was great. You loved it? Yeah, I'm not going to vote first. I'm going to let you guys vote. Because no. we may not need you. Right. Um, I'm glad you're here. I'm just saying, I, it's you. nice to know you're here if we need you. Right. But it's also nice to, to not need anyone. To not need anyone. It's a self-sustaining operation. Because, mm -hmm. um, let's face it, your career is going to take off. <laughs> and then we're not, we can't get dependent on you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Right. You're welcome. Um, so this is the this is the mole side, and this is the burger side. Even though there's mole on your side, and that's confusing. But this is burger side. This is mole. Yeah, yeah. The peanut butter on a burger. I, I mean, I don't think it sounds appetizing to the average person, and I do not feel like anything magical happened. Well, ironically, or coincidentally. Both dishes incorporate a sweet ingredient, right? Chocolate on Mexican food, mm -hmm. peanut butter on American food. That's a good observation. Mind blown. <laughs> um, I'm ready to vote. I've been ready. Three, two, one. I am voting for the mole. I, 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 I don't like messing up my burgers with it's too much amazing in one thing. It's it's gone. It's gone too far. It's gone over the edge. Uh, you want to vote just so you can? I mean, I feel like this blew my mind. <laughs> this what? The burger. The burger. Not that I have anything against mole. I've only had mole once before. It was at a hotel. <laughs> um, but I've never had peanut butter on a burger, and that just. I didn't know what to expect. Also, the burger is 
cooked perfect, perfectly. It is a good burger. Which just, that helped a lot. That just shows you how much, the, how much I like this mole. So, if you're in Salt Lake City, Utah, and you gotta have one meal, Let's say that you, you you're gonna be executed and you've got one last. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm trying to I'm trying to think of just like uh, the last meal situation, right? And uh, I don't know if capital punishment is legal in Utah or not, but let's just say you got one last meal. Our suggestion is that should be the mole from Red Iguana. Red Iguana, Salt Lake City, Utah.